Seen it all through it. Don't stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. What? <laughs> What's up, Chi? Welcome, up? Dunk Life Daily. The new poster looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, we're here. My man Chi, he's in town. He's a great dunker. He had sick dunks yesterday. We're just starting the morning off with some coffee. Talking some dunks, saying what's up. I know it's a little late for today. Um, I sound like a legitimate host right now. Too hosty. What's today? Saturday. Saturday twentieth. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday twenty. What is it? Saturday. What's a good day? Something new. Saturday. Whatever. All right. So me and she were talking, and we were talking. You said something about um, what was the word you used? Don't tell me. Um, what did you say about dunking? You said you wanted to. Uh, I was trying to. Pioneer, maybe? Pioneer, Pioneer was the word. I loved it. So tell me more about that. I love dunking. There uh, you go. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I I feel like I'm an ambitious person. Mm -hmm. um, and there's like a lot of stuff I want to do. But um, obviously, I don't, I don't quite know how to go about it. But um, I'm hoping with like the growth of dunking and as it like gains more popularity, people see that it's possible for them to dunk, you know, Definitely. progress. Like, I think there's just... A lot of room to like make something for yourself like obviously i want to do something i want to feel like i accomplished something i want to inspire people so um if i could find some type of role to do that what what inspired you to dunk i mean it was sort of my brother um a little bit shout out chibu no uh, nah, but i mean i've always watched like i remember like nate robinson like watching him dunk like that was unreal oh, yeah. i was like he's so short he's dunking he's flying like like I want to do that. I knew I was never like gonna be crazy tall. Oh, what are your goals with dunking now? Because you hit the friggin' I don't want to say it just in case uh, it's not posted yet. Well, I mean, it's it's whatever. Yeah. Okay. I mean, crazy off vert dunks yeah, yesterday. Yeah. That new dunks, right? You hit yeah, some new yeah. dunks. What are new dunks you trying to work on now? Um, I'd love to, I'd love to hit like behind the back. Um, off vert. Yeah, off vert. Oh off my vert. god. So all your mm -hmm. goals, by the way, seem like uh, they're all like personal. Do you have any goals of like contests or like? Getting paid for anything like Holy that? Hell. Abs absolutely. The contest at like the dunk camp was so 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 cool. Yeah. Um, shout out to Andy for that because like just of like course. just like being in a in a contest like that's just a huge like yeah. I love competing like mm -hmm. in track and field like that's what I would do. I would compete. You know, I'm up against a bunch of other guys. I'm like I want I want to win. I want to whatever. So to be able to do that like in dunking mm -hmm. it was again like a game changer for me because like. I don't know. I'm a competitor. I love competing. For sure. Is that like a big part of your life? Like you always want to be competing? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. Is it against other people? Yourself? Both? Both. Both. Like, so tell yeah. me more about the competition. It obviously okay. seems like a hard core, like a hard deep thing that runs deep in you. Yeah. Is it more just, is it all dunking or competing in other parts of your life too? Um, I mean, I think I'm, I'm good at like just jumping. I'm mm -hmm. good at solid at dunking. So, I mean, like, I can't think of like, I mean, in general, yeah, I'm a competitive person. Yes. Like, Video games, I love Fortnite. Shout yeah. out Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, no. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's mainly, like, dunking. It's mainly dunking, like, and being in the dunk contest or the dunk camp, it, like, relit that fire, like, especially yes. since I'm not competing in track anymore. Like, I want to chase, like, competition. That's Obviously, awesome. Obviously, if I can make some money. Yes. I'd definitely be. How do you feel under pressure, like, of, like, a big crowd like that? Like, if they flew you out to friggin' Europe? I think... I think I could rise to the occasion, honestly. I mean, maybe not yet. I need, still need to obviously mm -hmm. refine my arsenal yeah. of dunks. You seem like, to rise to the occasion, whatever. pun yeah. intended. But <laughs> but seriously, like in that contest, like yeah, I love. Remember that moment when you you rattled it in the reverse pump and yeah, me and yeah, yeah. rough were like, do it again. Yeah, that yeah. was so fun. Yeah, no, I I love watching that back. I love cause that's, that's the best. That's who I am. Yeah, I know I can. I know I can hit it. You know, I had two yeah. more attempts in the last one. I just how do you when you feel like you know you can hit it? What does it feel like? You gotta like I don't know. Just tell me a little bit about I, that. I. Again, like at the dunk camp, like just jumping there, I was like, there's so much more I can do mm -hmm. that like I thought before. So even like before I st like stepped in the gym, I was like, I, I can do, I can do whatever the things I want to do, the, the East Bay, the, I didn't actually think of the uh, reverse pump. Or the no, I didn't think of the uh, 360. Oh, okay, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I could definitely do a 360. Yes. Um, what 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 got you to feel that you can do more? Like, what was that? Was it like just like you pushed yourself a little bit, and then you realized you like got close, and then you like I can do more. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was definitely like it was just it was just my attempts because like some a lot of like a lot of the dunks I did at the dunk camp were like my first 
like attempts on like 10 feet and I was like, oh, this feels so possible. So like, <laughs> You know? That's crazy. Yeah, for sure. I always try to tell people it's like you gotta like some people say like I'm not aggressive, like I'm scared to like hurt myself. I'm scared mm-hmm. to like try this dunk. It's like you have to like push. How do you get yourself to push over like to try that? Because like even though Alvert's not like scary per se, mm-hmm. but it's like you have to go full hard and like yeah, yeah. go for it. Like how do you get yourself to go hard like that? Because I see you get in the zone before it gets me hype. I uh-huh. see you like get in the zone. What do you what goes through your head? Um I'm pretty good at like focusing, like and I mean, I've had, I've put like so many reps in of just like, just jumping off vertical like yeah. that. Like even that, like I haven't posted, I've done so many box jumps. I've just done yeah. like, I don't know. I, Do you think those reps like help you mentally as well? Just like knowing you've jumped this high, you've absolutely, had the formula. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, sick. So I'm used to it. I'm in the zone. It's just. All right, cool. All right, let's wrap it up. It's been it. fucking <laughs> <laughs> with Chi. Your name's Chi, right? Go by yeah. Chi at least. Yeah. You ever, um, isn't Chi like a. I don't even know if you know this, like an Asian culture type of thing where it's like, it means like almost like your essence, I think it means. Yeah, some type of like energy or... Yeah. Yeah. Do you um, ever think about that with your own name? Um, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, my, my name actually means, my full name's Chidabe. So um, in my dad's native language, Igbo, it means may God preserve me. So Chi um, means God. Okay. So, I mean, it's kind of like... So you're God. I, yeah, sure. <laughs> let's go with it. No. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely like... I think about that a little bit. You yeah, know, like I try and like. D- what do, What do you feel like your essence is that when you when you what or you what you want your essence to be when people like meet you or when you like in a competition? I know it's a deep question, but I feel, like, I feel like, like that's different in a competition. Yeah, like to my competitors, yeah. I want to be. Let's hear it. I want to be like scary to them. Yeah, I want them to be like yeah, I love it. Um, but I mean, with with people, I mean in general, like with people, um, you know, I want to. Obviously, like I feel like you're like your goals for like mm-hmm. your energy. Oh, you're thank you. Super hospital, as you said, or not as you said, but as you've shown. Um, and just like friendly, just like yeah. I don't know. Do you think about that when you meet somebody, like the energy you give off, or you just kind of like be yourself? Because um, you know I'm all about energy. That's why I'm yeah, asking yeah, these yeah. questions. To I mean, I feel like I feel like I'm just myself, which can sometimes be like a little, <laughs> little low key, a little less energy than I'd like, mm-hmm. but like. I guess Dude, that's natural. That's do you, that's be. it's so cool how it's like so different in the competition. Like you fucking get yeah. in that zone. Do you feel it like get in the zone, or do you tell yourself to get in the zone, or just it's just because you're in the competition it gets you in the zone? Um, a little bit of both. Like I love to like talk to myself if I'm about to go for a dunk. Like this is actually something I've thought about. Like if I want to go for a dunk, I'll I'll like talk some shit to like yeah. myself. I'll be like, yeah. yo, like let's go, like, yeah. whatever, whatever. I love and that. that. That helps 100. percent That's awesome. Yeah. All right, I'll end it there. Talk to yourself, yo. Yeah. Talk to yourself Saturdays. So I have a question for you, Steve. Yes, sir. What dunk lifers do you want to shout out? <laughs> That's here we go. I gotta pull them up. I've meant to do this every episode. Thank you, Chi. You're a great co-host. <laughs> um, okay, this was Bob Rex Sauce on my podcast number eight. This was a really good comment. He said, "You have put you have put that much work in. It's incredible how well you've stuck to your plan and it's paid off. Just watch your last video and you are banging dunk. So happy when people that have worked hard towards their goals." be great at what they do. I'm proud. So thank you so much. I love people sharing that energy. It means a lot to me. Oh my God. Today in history, July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first to walk on the moon. Oh shoot. On this day in sports, 1858, Fee first charged to see a baseball game, 50 cents. That's wild. <laughs> Inflation's a crazy thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 50 cents for a game, dude? That was a great podcast. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, boys. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.